Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Nicole's World. Welcome to my birthday weekend vlog. Today is July 31st, so it's Saturday. And I'm starting to vlog here because today I have a party boat plan. It's gonna be so much fun. Y'all gonna see everything. Um, I'm gonna try to record as much as I can, but you know, once the once I start having a good time, y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna give y'all a good glimpse of everything this weekend. End it on my birthday on Tuesday, August 3rd. Um, I have reserved a private theater, so it's just me and my people in the theater. So I've rented it out for 20 people. We're going to look at Zola. Look up Zola if you haven't seen it. The trailer looked good. I heard the, uh, the real life who the movie is about, Lady Zola. I listened to an interview with her um, explaining it before, and I was like, I want to see this movie because I, I wasn't on Twitter when it all went down. But look up Zola. But right now, it is Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I need to go into Kroger, grab some White Claws, and get some cash, and any other little last-minute thing I think I need for the boat. Everybody is bringing, like, a bottle or something and chasers. Uh, the people on the boat are providing like a little barbecue, but you know, I don't eat beef. My other homegirl don't eat. Um, she's a pescatarian. Two of my friends are pescatarians. So they bring in other options. And yeah, so I just need to run in here right quick and get it on started. I'm so excited, y'all. Come on. I'm about to go into Starbucks. It's a must. People always watch me when I have this camera out. Oh, let's get the one with the natural lime. Y'all, I am realizing I should have got my ass up earlier because now it's 8.20. I want to go get my car washed and stop at Bojangles because I got to get something to eat, put some on my stomach because that's a long time we're going to be on that boat. And once I get to drink it, I'm not going to want to eat. But I'm like, I want to leave the house. We board, we got to board the boat at 10.30. So once I get back home, I'm going to have like an hour. I already took a shower, but now that I'm outside and it's heat, I'm going to want to take another shower before I put on my bathing suit my outfit. So... I should have got up and I set my alarm for six, but the crazy thing was I went to bed early last night, took my melatonin, but I woke up at four in the morning and didn't fall back asleep until like 5.30. So then when my alarm went off at six, I was told Alexa, you know, cancel that alarm, set one for seven. And I didn't get end up getting out of bed until 7.30. And this is why, because I don't like no rush. But anyway, time to go to Bojangles. Hey y'all, am I far away? I'm far away so I'm gonna give y'all a look at the whole outfit. So my bikini is on under my little knit outfit. So this is a cute little knit two piece that I got from, guess what y'all? Rainbow, AKA Fashion Nova Junior. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get into the whole outfit. It's about 9.35. This is what I'm gonna wear on to the boat. And I also have another little cover up after I get in and out the water. Um, it's like a net little white cover up. And then I have a like a long flowy little cover up that I might put on, you know, it's just gonna be cute taking more pictures. But this is what I wanna wear to the boat and to the dock. Um, this is so cute, y'all. It's nice and knit, it's cream. Uh, check out the shoes. I'll take them off so you can see. And they are cute too. I love them. I got this whole outfit from Rainbow, y'all, Rainbow. <laughs> I haven't been a Rainbow in forever, but my new neighborhood where I live at now, it's a Rainbow right around the corner. So I went in there and I found this, this little cover up. But of course the bikini is from Target. I showed y'all that like a couple of uh, vlogs ago. But right now I'm gonna go pack a cooler, last minute touches, and then go ahead and get out. I just wanna do something simple with my hair for now. But when I get on the boat, uh, I'm probably gonna put it up once I get in the water and stuff. But I'm so excited y'all. I'm ready to have fun. The coffee is kicking in. I just hope everybody get there on time because I'm ready to, I'm ready to be pulling out of that pier at the latest at 11. I want all my time. So the boat ride is supposed to be from 10.30 to 3.30 p.m. Or the whole the whole boat party. So the whole extravaganza. So I want to get the most out of my money for this. Out of our money because everybody did pitch in. Um, and, you know, so that's great. Uh, I'm going to drop the link to the company below. So if you are in the 757 area and you want to have a boat cruise or anything like that, they got all kind of different packages. I'm going to drop their information below. I'm going to tell you so far so good with the communication with them. Um, I don't have any complaints. So I will see you guys when we get to the pier. <laughs> yes, and they all fit.
It's time to go. Got my beach bag pack. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Right, we are here at the pier. Why my head look lopsided? Oh, it's the way I was holding the phone. But we here at the pier. Everybody's over there paying for parking. It's windy. Hey, ladies, wait for the vlog. <laughs> we about to get a lit. Sis out. First time mother. She's our first time out. She's about to turn oh up with us. Tyra. Yeah, we about to turn up. I'm gonna try to show y'all as much as possible. We're going to our ramp. Y'all all look cute. <laughs> ramp four, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be a fun vlog. Yes! It's everybody! Y'all, let's see a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not gonna be too sunny. That's what uh Misha said. Well I thought about it, but I didn't grab it. Yeah. Good morning. We ready to go. We are here. Why my face look lopsided? It's because I did my braids. I eat. Everybody is coming aboard. Last but not least, our last two. We about to turn this bitch up. Miss Stepper. It's hungover, but say hey to her too. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> hey. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah right. Shit up, and they probably gonna ban us. Period. Hey, y'all, it's my birthday. Get your glasses up, shot, sips, whatever you want to do. It is my 34th birthday. It is August 3rd. This is like the finale of the whole little birthday, you know, celebration, but it's officially not over until my Tulum trip because that's what's gonna round out Leo season, round out the whole birthday season. So I have been up and I almost forgot about y'all. I almost did not come and check in. But I'm having me a mimosa. Cheers. This might be my second one. Who knows? Who cares? Who's counting? No, but today I'm about to have me some breakfast. Um, then I have a foot reflexology massage at 1 p.m. Then I'm probably going to kick it with my sister and my niece for a little bit. Then I'm going to get ready to go to tonight's event which is going to be uh the private movie rental so i rented out the movie theater for me and 20 of my closest peeps and we are going to look at zola look y'all I, I twisted my own hair up um last night 
Uh, we're going to look at Zola. Chill. Have drinks. They serve alcoholic beverages. If you're 21 and up, they serve food. So it's going to be a nice, just intimate setting. Nothing too hype. I just wanted to have a, like a chill mode. You know, I'm getting older. I'm getting refined. You know, real classy. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this started and come along with my birthday celebration. Okay, as you know, I am trying to stay on my health as well the journey i've incorporated meal preps back i got these meals from clean eats and for breakfast i'm going to have pb and j french toast and egg bites and i'm going to add one of my maple sausages i love these because it tells you the calories the carbs the proteins the fats you can definitely track it and i get mine frozen that way um you know they stay good for a long time but this is how it looks and it's all frozen. I've never had peanut butter and jelly French toast. Oh my God, y'all. I'm tripping. They're supposed to stay frozen. I got them in my refrigerator. Lord, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to spaz. But I'm eating them this week, so I think that'll be okay. That they're thawing out. What do y'all think? Yikes. I was supposed to keep them in the freezer until I'm ready to thaw them out, I think. But it's all good. They're in the refrigerator. Y'all... Lord. Okay, anyway. But this is how it looks. You heat it up for two to three minutes. So I'm about to do that. And of course, I'm going to have it with my mimosa. So I'll be back. I put them back in the freezer and I think that's okay. Some of them weren't uh, thawed out. But I, w I don't know why I didn't do that yesterday. But they're heating up. It's about to be delicious. So let's see. Alright, so I finished this breakfast. Um, It's super sweet. I killed it though, and I ate my little sausage up there. And I think they got meat in the egg. It was something in the egg. But on the thing, it doesn't say anything about having meat in it. Can y'all see it? But it definitely says keep frozen and do not refreeze. So I took the ones that I just put back in the freezer, back in the refrigerator. And I'm going to eat them this week. So I should be okay. But it was good. I just don't, too much sweet. Like peanut butter on top of a. French toasted on top of jelly. That that's overkill sweetness to me. Plus, I'm drinking my most, so that's sweet. Um, but hey, I'm full. I put something on my stomach because I do not want to be drinking. But it's gonna be my last drink because I'm gonna find something to wear to go get my massage and you know do some work or whatever I need to do on the computer until about 12.30. Then I'm going to head on to my old neck of the woods and go get my foot massage. But I will check back in with you guys when I'm on the way there. See ya. All right, I am here. I'm about to go in and check in for my massage. I needed this. Champagne makes you sleepy. I had to take me a quick little power nap before I got here. But yeah, I'm about to go enjoy this massage and then pick up some lunch and go meet my sister not meet my sister go to my sister's house um if she is woke you know she has a newborn so there's that but let's go get this massage I getting a foot reflexology so you just get in this room they're gonna break out the little tub it's gonna be nice now these people next to me they need to be quiet now you hear me i need that how are you good put it in there yeah it's okay yeah i like your heart okay what would you like to back now yeah All right, y'all, I just got back home. The massage was great. I meant to check in with y'all when I got done with the massage, but it was so good. And I ended up putting on my ear pods because it was like an older couple in the front. They were asking questions. It was just loud. So the way the massage thing is set up, like there's no door. So there would be no happy ending. So <laughs> it's just like a curtain in, that, that closes off your room. And of course, the side is like a real like room but there's no closing doors so you can hear people talking so they was kind of talking and disrupting me in the beginning so i put on my airpods turned on some massage music from spotify and i tell you it was so tranquil felt so good you know there's so many pressure points and stuff in your foot that's connected to everywhere else in your body so it was lovely um i hit up my sister after and i had woke her up and i felt so bad because you know when you have a newborn sleep is vital so she was asleep, so we didn't do lunch. So then I wanted to go find some sneakers to go with my outfit tonight. 
uh, but it started raining but i did stop at a place out here in my neck of the woods but the shoes they had that i wanted they didn't have my size and i did not feel like jumping around going to other places so your girl went to the commissary and this is what we have for lunch mm-hmm some crawfish baby i'm about to heat these up and i'm gonna eat them all by myself this probably be my lunch it's 251 I don't got to head out to the movies until like 7, so I'm about to get these heated up. I was going to do a mukbang, y'all, but I already did a crawfish mukbang. I'm not about to do another one. Um, if you want to know how I feel about these, just look at my last crawfish video. And I'm about to get it popping. I will see y'all before we head out to the movie. You know what's about to happen. I'm about to eat them all. Sit here and look at some YouTube videos. That's that special sauce. If you're from DMV, you know what that is. That's that mayo. Not mayo. Yeah, mayo and ketchup with some obey. Now, it's remnants of other crawfish in there because that's what I be using it for. <laughs> but I'm about to tear this up. Oh. Hey, y'all. So, it is the finale. Well, what do I want to call it? It's not really the finale because the finale, like I said, when we, when we go to Tulum, that's going to close out Leo season for my Leo people. But tonight, this is what I'm wearing to the movies. I got to step back so y'all can see. Just a little two-piece, little crop top, short set with a jean jacket on top of it. Something cozy, something cute, something, you know, keep me warm when I'm at the movies. And it's a rainy day today. I know some of y'all like, girl, it's always like on a jean jacket. So it's like an oversized jean jacket. But this is like the whole look. I could rock it off the shoulder kind of that if I wanted to. And put it with some heels, but definitely sneakers. It's just a chill vibe tonight to close out my birthday. Y'all, I really had a good day. I was chilling. After I ate that crawfish, I took me a shower, got on my couch, started looking at people's YouTube videos, looking at Bravo, just chilling. But, um, yeah, so I'm about to leave in about 30 minutes to head to Hampton because I'm in Portsmouth, so got to go across the water so hopefully it's not traffic and we can just get there smooth sailing hopefully everybody get there on time everybody know i'm a stickler for time so i feel like they're gonna be on time just because of that but i will see you guys when we get to the movies <laughs> All right, y'all, so we are here at AMC. Misha's here, too. We are about to go inside and meet everybody. I'll see you inside. And be like, oh, that's part of the bottom of my bag. That's what we do? Yeah. <laughs> there, look. The Misha is <laughs> smuggling her whole life inside. Yeah. Oh, I'm too zoomed in. Hey! Private screening for the peeps. Say hey, Gregory. What up, baby? <laughs> Aisha, Keisha, Tiny. They got their good seats. And it's only us in here, so we can make as much noise as we want. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. That's a step. That's a step. Wait for everybody to sit down before. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. After the Leo's done, then they can come in. Boom. Now that's how you do the movie. I don't know what these people are doing, but I had to go up there and ask them to start the damn movie. Like, really? I'm going to complain and get my money back. I'm calling corporate. Right. He's from the left. Three times from the left. Well, movie over. Alright, so I am home. Um, everything was fine except for the theater. The movie that we wanted to see. That I selected, that I paid to see. Which was Zola. We got there. We sit in the movie. It's like 8.20. The movie hasn't played nothing. No previews. I go to the front. I ask them why the movie isn't playing. They say, oh, let me get the manager on it to see why it's not playing. I go back, trying to mix and mingle with people. 
8.30, movie's still not playing. So, I go back to the front. The little nail, the little girl, they got an attitude. Because I have an attitude. Because I didn't pay this money. Why isn't the movie playing? So, long story short, we didn't get to see Zola. We had to look at Escape Room. They started the movie. I thought like they just started the movie in the middle of the movie. Or if they didn't, then maybe they didn't. But we ended up looking at Escape Room. They ended up giving us a uh, free movie, free popcorn, and free drink. But... That's unacceptable. So I already filed my dispute. It kind of ruined my birthday experience. Is that what I like? You know, anybody know me know I like to be things to be seamless. Like on time, the way I paid for it, the way I want it. So that kind of ruined my mood and ruined my night a little bit. But I still have fun. Um, my family seemed to have fun. My friends seemed to have fun. They was okay with it. Um, but I'll definitely be filing a dispute. And at this point, I'm just about to go chill and, you know, wrap up my evening. See y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, this birthday vlog. If you are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Really, subscribe. It can be your gift to me. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time in the cozy world.